it's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly, so you can see what it looks like. Right then, this is Pit Stop on the Commodore 64 and playing it on the... What, is, what do they call it? It's that Commodore 64 plug and play thing, C64 DTV, I think they call it. Anyway, yeah, um, this is a game that I'm very new to, though I have heard of it. So uh, we'll give it a bash. Number of drives, three. Number of laps, three. Select level of difficulty. Rookie, absolutely. Single, yes. Monaco, well, yes. We have to, don't we? Get ready, driver one. Okay, up to accelerate. There's the map, it looks like... Well, it looks like a broken penis. <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay. Well, this is interesting. The, the. I suppose I would describe these graphics as functional. The cars initially look like some kind of weird green alien coming down at me, like a flying saucer or something. But now I look at them, I think I. I don't know why they have green wheels, really. Um, oh dear. And that one looked like it was trying to eat my... Yes. Yeah, uh, hello. My wheels have changed colour. Um, is that a... I don't know if that's a graphical glitch or if it's signifying something, because I did bash into one of the other alien cars. But hey-ho. Um, I think I just drove past the pits, there was a, a, an extra line there, and I'm guessing with the name Pit Stop, that somewhere I have to stop in the pits. Refuel? I am going to guess, because fuel gauge going down. Um, whoops. <coughs> Excuse me. Sneezing while driving. Not good. Um, I know someone who pranked their car because they sneezed while they were driving. Oops. Yeah, see, my, my tyres are changing colour as I prang. Nevertheless, we're a lot faster than the other cars and that's a good thing. What are these... What What is that? What What is that banner? At the, I mean, I, I, I was able to read that last one. It said Epics, which are like the developers. Oh, let's go in. Oh, God, missed it. Oops. Probably not going to finish the race then. I missed the pits. There will be no pit stop in this game of pit stop. But what is that banner at the side of the road? It looks like... Actually, I don't know what it looks like. I have to say though, the actual play mechanic here, the, the way the road moves and the, the, the sprites that signify the movement of the road, is very effective. Um, and even though the movement of the, the opposition cards is kind of a little bit on the jerky side, it is good enough. You can get around them. Some games, they're just like veering from left to right in a jerky, nasty manner, and you, you have no choice but to crash into them and then lose. These... Oh! Well, that's good. I have $53,000 in my purse. Well, personally, I don't carry a purse. I have a wallet. $53,000 in that would be nice. Okay. What's next? More of the same by the look of it. Well, that's never a bad thing, is it? Are we... Okay. All right. Well, we'll go somewhere different then. Le Mans. Okay. Yeah. We'll go there. Yeah. Yeah, big round, so uh, should have a straight that's like about 10 miles long. It's not 10 miles, but it's long. We should also need refueling here, I imagine, because it's big and long and stuff. Uh, I know someone who would say that's what she said, but... I'm getting an, a, a bit of interesting ghosting, and I'm going to assume it's my TV and not this thing. The green on their tyres as they... Ah, 
yeah, I'm getting green ghosting on the tires of the cars as they come down the screen, and it's kind of weird. I don't know if this camera will pick it up. Probably not. But I'm going to guess it's this telly. It is an LCD TV. It is getting on a bit, it's got to be said. By LCD TV standards, it's old. Certainly I have cathode ray tube TVs here that are much, much older. But, nevertheless. Right, pits. Y yay. What the hell? Okay, we have a thing. What do we do with the thing? Hello? What now? Do we... what do we... Do... do we... do we pick up a tyre? I have no idea. Whatever. Ah! <laughs> well, this... Oh, okay, you've got to hold the button down to refuel. But I don't know about the tyre geezer. Was I doing that wrong? Oh, that should do. What the... F what? What happened? Did all the fuel come out? Oh dear, I think I did that wrong. <laughs> We're going to finish last because there's now fuel all over the pits. Everything is going to catch fire and we're all going to die. That's good. I would like to see that graphically. Commodore 64 style burning pit crew. Yeah. They can run around in flames. Come on. Get up. Get there. All right. What's this geezer going to do then? Nothing. Change tire, geezer. Uh, he's not... Get off then. You do your thing. There. Alright. Position? Where are we? It doesn't actually tell me where we are. In terms of, like, position in the race. Which is odd. Yeah, I like this. I think the pit stop itself is something... I can see how that would add to the game. Um, um, I probably didn't even need to do it. Where did I finish? That's three, time three... Oh. Is it all based on your time then? I don't know. Place one. So I won that despite being a complete twat in the pits. Okay, that's nice. Um, I do like this. Um, probably you would need the difficulty to be increased a bit and a little bit of knowledge of how to do the pit stop uh, for which you would need a manual, which I don't have because it's on a plug and play for which I have no manual. Um, there you go. That is pit stop on the Commodore 64. Um, novel. and It's kind of unusual. I like it. Mm. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the thumbs up button. I upload videos daily, so go ahead and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more. To all those who've already subscribed, I'd just like to say a great big thank you.